everybody and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here feel free to subscribe leave a comment and today i want to speak about being who we're meant to be and really attuning ourselves to that state of consciousness that is in alignment with our true self now i believe that there is a higher self i believe that there is a source self i believe that there is a higher conscious self that is constantly guiding us and that is the source self that is the self that is coming from source energy and what is source energy well source energy is love okay so if you want to be who you're meant to be i believe that the first thing to realize is the fact that you gotta attune yourself to love okay if you don't love yourself you lose okay this is what i've seen in my own journey that i had to respect myself I have to love myself, I had to embrace myself. Now, what I would also like you guys to realize is the fact that everything is changing, okay? And everything is moving at times. Everything is constantly evolving, okay? So if you wish to be who you're meant to be, you gotta allow yourself to evolve, okay? You gotta allow yourself to be motivated enough in order to be curious about life, okay? You gotta be really, you gotta step into your heart space and get to express yourself, okay? So I've seen in my own spiritual journey that I was more than I thought I was, okay? When I opened my senses, when I opened my consciousness, I've seen that I'm actually an infinite spiritual being having a human experience, okay? I'm actually a multidimensional being. What's, what does it really mean to be multidimensional? It means to realize that reality has levels, okay? Reality has levels. There are, there are more levels to this shit, okay? there are different states of consciousness that we can actually attune to okay so i realized that it's about raising my consciousness it's about raising my consciousness and it's about really stepping into my heart space and of course there are hard moments in life there are moments where we actually feel stuck there are moments where it feels like we cannot express ourselves but in those moments we gotta look at ourselves honestly and get to actually play our own game okay so i realized that the human self and human consciousness has the power to really awaken itself. And we live in times of awakening. We live in times where we are actually awakening our life force energy. And really the planet is actually receiving higher vibrational frequencies from the universe, from the cosmos, okay? And in a way, everybody is actually experiencing an awakening, okay? But some individuals are actually aware of, the, of this and some are not, okay? But what I've seen in my own journey was the fact that I had to stay conscious. I had to stay conscious and I had to respect myself. So if you really want to become who you're meant to be, you gotta love, embrace and accept yourself. This is actually the first tool. Learn to accept, embrace and love and respect yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, you lose because you are living in relationship. You are actually living in relationship with others regarding the relationships that the relationship that you have with yourself. Okay, so I realized that it all starts with myself. I get to actually create my own reality. I get to actually express my own vision. And in essence, we do have the power to create the life that we desire with the consciousness that we have, okay? The law of attraction says that we attract what we subconsciously believe to be true. So it's about really um, going deep into the self. This is how to become who you're meant to be. Going deep into the self and allowing yourself to actually expand from the inside out. I believe that we, when we find peace from the inside out, everything that we need externally will actually come into our lives okay so it's about really going into the into that state of consciousness that fits you best it's about realizing that the only suffering is actually attachment okay and when you let go of attachment you also raise your levels of consciousness when you let go of attachment you also become more happy okay buddha said that the only suffering is attachment okay so i believe that we live in a conscious universe I believe that the universe is conscious and I believe that everything that is happening in our lives internally and externally is happening with a higher purpose. And that purpose is for us to actually awaken to our true state of consciousness, which from my perspective is love, okay? The more that you learn to operate from love is the more that you will actually create good deeds, good karma, good actions, okay? so. I've seen that if I want to become who I, wa who I was meant to be, I had to actually operate from love. <clears throat> I had to see the other as myself. 
because I am the other. There is no, there is no other being into the planet. We are all one consciousness. We are all one source. Okay. So after seeing that, if I wanted to become who I was meant to be, I had to actually respect the other. I have to love the other. I have to love nature. I have to love my consciousness. Okay. So it's about really, guys, uh, going slow into the process and really, uh, I believe that questioning. That, and this is actually the second tip: questioning. Okay, you gotta question yourself. Who am I really? What is my potential? What is my soul purpose? What is my soul's mission? How can I get to actually express myself? And usually this answer is found within yourself. Okay, so go within yourself and see what happens. Go inside of your own consciousness and realize that the magic is right where you are standing right now. Okay, the present moment is the only moment that exists. So if you really want to get to expand your consciousness, you gotta become more aware. Okay, you gotta step into that state of uh, where you actually express yourself. You gotta step into the state of observation, and you gotta realize that you are not your mind, you are not your thoughts, you are not your feelings, and you are not even your body. Okay, you are more than this. You are actually cosmic consciousness expressing itself through a human. Okay, so. Yeah, it's also about uh, learning to keep it simple. If you really want to become your best version, you gotta learn to actually uh, keep it simple. Keep it simple and get to actually love yourself in the process. So I've seen that even if life brings negative moments, even if life brings negative experiences, we still gotta allow ourselves to trust, okay? And this is actually the third tip. You gotta trust. If you really want to become who you're meant to be, you gotta trust yourself. You gotta trust your intuition. You gotta trust your consciousness. You gotta love and respect yourself. So I've seen that when I trust life, life will actually trust me back because I am in, in relationship with the universe. I'm in a core relationship with the universe and everything that I express out there will actually be, be expressed back into myself. Okay, and this is actually the law of cause and effect what we express out there will be expressed back into ourselves. And I've seen in my own journey that sometimes I wanted to hurt others and I have seen that I have been hurt by others, okay? So I see that karma may be real, guys, okay? But we don't have to actually uh, worry about it, okay? Karma may be real and what we express out there will actually be expressed back into ourselves three, four times, okay? So, if you really want to become who you're meant to be, realize that you are actually in relationship with the higher intelligence of the universe, okay? There are principles, there are laws, there are hermetic principles. The universe works based on laws. You cannot hurt the law. You cannot break the law. Because when you break the law, you create karma, okay? So, yeah, yeah, be who you're meant to be. And you don't even have to be in the spiritual journey to be who you're meant to be, even though we are spiritual beings having a human experience. You don't necessarily have to be in the, in the spiritual journey. All that you gotta do is actually love yourself. When you love yourself, you actually raise your energy, you raise your potential, you raise your frequency, okay? So yeah, step into your heart space and see what your body actually asks, asks you to do. See what your consciousness wants from you. See what your heart wants to express out there. Because you gotta express yourself. Okay, we need you as a collective. We need you as a collective. We need you as part of the collective consciousness. We need you to step up and be your best version. Okay, so I've seen that who I was in the process was not just a human being. It was a spiritual being having a human experience. And love is my truth, love is who I am. And when I operate from love, I will actually receive love back in return, okay? So guys, realize that we live in amazing times on the planet. We live in times where we have technology. We live in times where we have all the tools necessary for us to actually be one tribe. We have all the tools necessary for us to be one family. We don't have to hurt each other. We have to love and respect each other, okay? So yeah, yeah, this is today's message about being your true self. This is my perspective. This is only my subjective perspective. You don't have to see, take it as, you don't have to take it, uh, you, you have to actually trust yourself in this. You don't have to take my message as real if you don't want to. 
because this is only my subjective perspective. This is only my own subjective truth. Okay? So yeah, yeah, there are hard moments in life, but it only make they only make us stronger. They only make us wiser. They only make us who we're meant to be. Okay? And I've seen that it's not always about pure positive feelings. It's also about learning to embrace the shadow. It's also about learning to embrace the darkness. It's also about learning to embrace our negative experiences. Okay? And it's about realizing that the universe will work in your favor the moment that you connect to your own source. Okay? So connect to your own source, connect to your heart space and see what happens. Okay? Yes, the universe is conscious and we are part of the higher intelligence. The moment that we connect to this intelligence is the moment that we actually raise our energy. Okay? So yeah, go within yourself, trust the process, love and respect yourself, express yourself, trust the universe and see what happens. I believe that we are warriors of light, queens of love, and we are meant to thrive in this life. Even if it, if it was hard at some point, even if it was disastrous at some point, you still got the chance to actually be your best version. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. My book will be out soon. So if you are interested in buying my book, feel free to send me a message. And if you wish to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one level and get to know yourself in a more spiritual way, also feel free to send me a message. And if you want to be part of my spiritual podcast called Consciously Awakening, feel free to also send me a message. Guys, I love you so much. Much peace and see ya on what is coming up next. Bye-bye. Be a warrior of light. Be yourself. This is the message. Just be yourself and see what happens. It's all it takes. All that you gotta do is be your self. I love you. Bye-bye.